especially at night. You never know what to expect. A minor thing could turn into a major thing in the, in the blink of an eye. And so that really makes the job exciting and, and makes the night go faster. Right now we're heading to a possible fight call, male and a female. Uh, witnesses uh, saw a male beating a woman and supposedly there's some children involved. We're gonna go check it out and see what's going on. 161 on 23. 10 4, I got several subjects out in front of the house. Hold on a sec. Ho, oh, oh. ho. What's going on, guys? We were going to sleep in my car because my mom was a crackheaded bitch. Yeah, okay. She just wants us out of here, man. We're going to her house and, like, her mom okay. is drunk and crackheaded and mad because we came back to here. Okay. Like, we're just trying to get the baby home safe. I promise. Whose baby is it? It's her baby. Okay. It's our baby. Okay. Well, we got called out here. We're gonna figure out what's okay, going on. Okay, yeah, and it's like it's because of noise. And okay, we're being take, loud. take your sorry. hands out of your pockets, man. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. All right, I'm, all right. we're gonna figure out what's going on. Come back with me. Okay, man. I'm sorry. All right. What's your name, man? My name is Corey. I've been here before. I'm sorry. Right now, I'm just gonna have you sit in the back of my car. Yeah, we're gonna fine. figure out what's going on. No, that's fine. There's something going on. Her mom is drunk. And she thinks there's a fight here, but there's not. I'm just trying to get, seriously, I'm just trying to get her daughter and her okay. granddaughter right. home. I know you're upset. All right. It's just like, man, it sucks. Like, my eye is so black from it. Dude, I didn't even do anything. When I was this? It was, like, less than a week ago, okay. man. And, like, y'all were like, well, you said something to him, so we can't do anything about it. Y'all just, like. Sit tight right now. We're going to figure right, out what's man. going on. All right. Okay, there, whose baby there. is it? It's mine. You can barely stand up. You're so drunk. And I can't stand up. I'm just I'm not debating anything with you and you're getting into a car with your baby. He's drunk. You're drunk. Do you think that's the smartest thing? I can't trust her with my daughter Megan. Well, do you think leaving in your state and everybody else's state was a good idea? Not necessarily. At three in the morning? No. Man, what the what the fuck? What the fuck? Man, my face! I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! Give me your arm. Oh, guess what? Give me guess your what? arm. Guess what? I'm like he. Guess what? I'm like he. That sucks. Yep, that sucks. I'm like he. Yep, sucks for y'all. Yep, guess what? It's still three feet behind you. Yep, that sucks. Oh, yep. Hey. Hey, guess what? Hey, gonna get hey. chased. One, okay. two, two. Okay. One. Turn around right okay. now. Turn around. Can I just give it to you? Turn okay. around. I am just handcuff me and take me in, okay? <laughs> Look. <laughs> hey, babe, call my attorney too. This is called brutality. This stand up. This yeah. Okay. Stand up. Yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see if Perry can save Robbie. Put your yeah, feet we'll down. We'll see, see about that. Put yeah, your feet down. Shoot him up. He's in the house. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. I'll talk to you in a minute. Get in the house. Get in the house. Yeah, listen. Yeah. You need to listen to the. Okay, I am. Yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, we'll see about that. We'll see if Perry can No, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. No. I'm not, I'm not being. Okay. Oh, you have the brakes. Give us that. I got it. I got it. Get back. Get back. Get back. I want my back. Get back. I'm telling you right now. You go walk in that house right now and sit, and we will talk to you. Right now. Go. 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 Okay. Well, then get the bottle and go in the house. Oh! 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 What the? F what the? Our wrist hurts. Our wrist. Our wrist. Our wrist. Our wrist, wrist hurts. Oh, this is my wrist, man. This is my wrist. It hurts. Oh, my wrist hurts, man. Look, I'll go, man. I'll go in peace, dude. This is my wrist hurt, man. Oh, my wrist. Ah! 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 All right, y'all, just take me in, then. Man. I'm just saying, no, 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 I'm just saying. You're just saying. No, I'm, no, I'm just asking if he's okay. 
Hey. I asked you to get back in the house no, several I times. Stay. I asked you to get in the house several times. You're interfering okay. with what we're trying to do out right here. Okay? Is he okay? It's called interfering. Okay. Um, is, is he okay? okay? He's fine. Okay? Okay, that's all I wanted okay. to know. Okay, well, we asked you, we'll talk to you about it later after we finish dealing with him, but you continue to come back out here. No, I've been okay? standing no. right here. Okay. I just wanted to make sure he's okay. Will you please not take me to jail? It's already too late for compromises. Please talk to me. You're under arrest for public intoxication. But you understand that you're drunk and you're in public and that you're going to jail for that tonight, right? Please don't. What was he doing in your car when you pulled him out like this? He started banging on the windows, cussing, cussing up a storm. I said, all right, you're going to jail. Pull him out, he starts to fight, and then I guess that girl was, I don't know. I told her to. 10 or 11 times to get back, and so the officer Smith, so nothing we can do about that. If they want to resist and they want to interfere with us, they're going to be going to jail. It's their choice. Corey. What's up? You're under arrest for public intoxication and resisting. All right. All right. Why did you do that? Oh, I was just trying to get attention to my girlfriend. Okay. Like, that's, I was like, that's it. I wasn't trying to make right. anybody mad tapping on the All this could have been <laughs> settled and handled a lot easier than you made. Okay. Stupid, and I'm sorry. Okay, right. it's like you know, I'll just go to jail. I'm, okay, man, I'm sorry. Okay. All right, you don't have to apologize, but I was just letting you know what you're under arrest for. I know, man. I'm sorry. Okay. okay? All right. I like working here in Portland because uh, you know I grew up in the area, and uh, growing up, you know, when I want to be a police officer, I've always wanted to work for Portland. And uh, you know, there's a lot of great people here in the community, a lot of uh, place to move within the bureau. And uh, the men and women that I work with are, uh, are, are great people. Copy, we're all sir. Uh, we got dispatched to assist on a hit and run where someone apparently followed the vehicle over in our district and uh, watched the suspects get out. So we're covering another officer. So what are you guys doing here, right here? Walking. From where? Around the corner. I was meeting up with him. You just met, like, down here? Yeah. Okay. Is No. Okay. You got any weapons on you, dude, buddy? Oh, he's just searching. You could. Just do me a favor and just take a seat right there. So what's going on? I don't know. You don't know at all? Mm -mm. Sure about that? Yeah. Okay. Where are you guys coming from? I was coming from the park. It's your husband or boyfriend or husband? No, we're not married. Boyfriend? Yeah. Do you know why we're talking to you? Say so he's coming from the park. He doesn't know his last name. It's near the park. Park and then he's meeting up with her. He's in your pocket. Port Dodge and Trap in the four door. Can I see him? Can you down at all? Uh, McAllister did, evidently. What does this belong to? Where's our car keys? Where, where's your car at? Over, uh, there. Who's driving? She was. And six six. So, you having, is somebody having an argument with you? you guys in the car? Is that what happened? Well, we were getting followed by somebody. Do you know who they were? Yeah. Are they trying to hurt you? Well, him. You want to tell me the story? What happened? Well, not really. Seven, four, five, you have a chance four, to tell four, me what happened. Okay. The exact uh, address is 37 uh, on She wanted to get this guy. And she or he? It was a she. Like an ex-girlfriend or something? No, it was my sister. Okay. Um, they don't really like him. So they were just trying to get me away from him, I guess. Is, but she just kept following us. Why does he have the keys? Well, I have a set, too. That's his set. Why'd you leave? I didn't know what to do. <laughs> what would have been the responsible thing to do? To stop. I talked to the witness that saw it and followed them. and. Uh, we did the show up, and he said 100%, absolutely, that's the two of them. Who's driving? Uh, the male was. Okay. He's sure, 100% sure on that, 100% sure on that. 
She's actually saying she was driving. He's letting her lie. Okay, stand up. Put your hands behind your back. What were you two six? I can't get my radio on. What's up, buddy? Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. What's going on? We got under arrest. For what? I hit and run. I didn't hit and run nobody. Huh? I didn't hit nobody. Oh, that's what you're arrested for, and that's what you're arrested for. I wasn't driving though. We we brought two people here, and they they have a different story. They say you were driving. I was Did driving. Did you switch seats maybe? Before I was not you hit driving. The car? I was not driving. Okay. Well, I mean that's what you're arrested for. You asked me. I'm gonna be honest. What the? Man, I just got out of jail. For what? Do you know that's when I might get out of jail? For, for PV. No, so I'm gonna arrest it for a hit and run? Yeah. Isn't that a felony? Do you know when I might be out of jail? No, no I don't. No. I didn't do nothing. I've never even been to jail before. Like, I'm freaking out. That's the thing about it, I didn't do nothing. You were in a car that crashed into another car, right? So I'm gonna arrest it for something I didn't do? You were there, and you were walking away from the scene of the crime. For starters. Yeah, I, I, right. I didn't hit, I didn't hit the and person. You, when I first talked to you, you lied to me. We're trying to figure out, you're, you're being detained right now? Let's see we can figure out what's going on. How's that? Okay. But he just told me I was going to arrest him. Well, we got witnesses that say you're driving. Okay. She just said, y'all, she, she was driving. So what she says and what reality is could be two different things. We're going to figure that out, right? Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to talk to a lawyer and have him present while you are being questioned. Do you understand your rights? Yes. Okay. You want to tell me what happened? <clears throat> we were involved in a hit and run. Okay. When, we when, you, when you say we, who, who was driving? Well, I, do I have to answer your questions? Well, you don't have to answer anything you don't want to. This is like the worst thing in the world, man. Okay. I don't know what but to do. You, you know I'm asking all these questions because I already know the answer. We have a lot of witnesses. And what I got from the witnesses also that you guys almost hit a pedestrian as she was crossing the street Five is that five. you guys were fighting prior to hitting the car. Me and him? Yeah. We weren't, we haven't. Well, that's what I, the witnesses are telling me. Okay, okay, well, I'm letting you know that that part isn't true, and I don't okay. know about the pedestrian. I didn't see nobody in the street. Okay. So you weren't driving the car? I just don't want to. Okay, know. you don't want to tell me? That's fine, okay? Um, but you're under arrest also for hindering prosecution, okay? I don't know what that is. Well, because you're covering up a felony. What happened is your, that, uh, your boyfriend or whatever, um, he was driving the car. He hit the other van. There was a guy that was on the side of the van, and the car hit him. He's got injuries to his legs. So that's a felony hit and run. And you're trying to cover up for that, saying that you were the driver. So that makes that a felony. Okay. Okay, so that's what you're under arrest for. The weekends are pretty much all our busy nights. Everything starts popping off after, like, you know, 10 o'clock. On our area right here, we do have a lot of the hotels where people come for spring break and be on beach side and things like that. But uh, all in all, I mean, we pretty much is residential. It's pretty nice, quiet over here. We're responding to a battery domestic violence and a aggravated battery. Roommate got hit by a hammer by the other roommate. And um, uh, they're also saying that the female of the residence is being choked out by the boyfriend. And it's possible it's all still in progress. Sheriff's office. Who was the one that did it? Her boyfriend. He was passed out. Chronic drank to start seven more this night. The other man, he were buddies. It's just the job for him. He passed out. I got hungry. Went up and got a sandwich. Asked her if she wanted half of it. He jumps up, grabs her by the neck. Why he doesn't have his dinner ready? Then he takes off. Calls me back. Says I'm the problem between those two. Which there's absolutely nothing going on between me and her. Nothing. He turned around, right he started screaming and hollering. So if you pull this crap, I'm gonna knock the crap out of you. He turned around and comes running in with this. I got him on I got him on the ground and took it out of his hands and did what I had to do, but evidently barely caught him. What's up? What's your name? 
I just got to go out and grab a couple affidavits. We'll, we'll okay. take it from there. Uh, uh, okay. okay. This is the yeah, this uh, is all, You got their IDs? Last time I get to, yeah, right here. You write them in? More of the information, no. Not yet. Not to. I'll run them right now. Let me get some more of his information. This is, this is just, you know, when you drink from 7 in the morning till you pass out. Where does he live? Here. He lives at, him and her live in that room. I just moved here four weeks ago. Okay. No, it's just you ever been arrested? Me? Yeah. DUI 14 years ago. What was the argument about between you and him? I was every day, he, every day he's calling her a whore and everything else, and it's just, it's the alcohol. It's Seven alcohol. in the morning until he passes out. He drinks all day? All day. All day. Non-stop. You guys get into it every day or just no, the first time? I got into it with him once uh, five months ago. At, he pulled the same thing. Okay. So I had to hit him a couple times here. He said, the alcohol, you come after me with a hammer, that's it. It's over with. All right. I had to get it out of his hands, get him on the ground. And how old is he? 50. He's 50? Or we're going to get some paperwork called, done? He calls me back saying, I'm the, you, get, the problem. you want to press charges against yes, him? Sir. Okay. Yes, so sir. Okay. So we're going to get some paperwork done and uh, yes, sir. have you fill out some paperwork, and then we'll see if we can get so a hold of him. I can get him learn his lesson. Yeah, I understand that. Somebody comes after you with a hammer, it's not friends anymore. Serious. He would have used it. Yeah. Well, he did use it. Well, I had to get a hold of his hand. Mm -hmm. It would have been worse. Uh, Do you mind coming over here and filling out a statement for me? Come over here. It's very easier. I mean, you can see what I'm doing. I'm sitting, I'm sitting here developing pictures. Can you hit you as well? Now he can jerk me back by my hair. You can fill out a witness statement for me saying what happened. Your friend over here. What are you planning to do now? I don't know what to do. I'll give her, I, I can do. give her a ride back to I don't know where I'm going to go. I know oh. he's going to try to come. But I can give her a ride. This belongs to him, correct? It's, I'm on the freaking lease, too, like okay. a dummy. Because if he comes back here and he's altercation go comes back. He's going to go off. I know he is. Okay. I'm huh? terrified now. I didn't want to call the cops because I didn't because I know what he's gonna he's gonna put him in a freaking you whirlwind. Got, I ain't worried about it. If I'm going to jail, I've already my lawyer's already been contacted. Okay. Okay. Well, you gotta go inside. <coughs> you wanna pull out a statement for us or no? Sure. You wanna do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just hang tight right here. You got a suspect statement after David? Yeah. All right, let me get that. All right, Charles, I'm placing you under arrest for aggravated battery and domestic violence. So you're taking me to jail, after all. Good? Yep, let's go. Can I uh, have a word with uh, my girlfriend? No, you, can't. you can't. Can I have my wallet? And a little bit. You have anything illegal in your pockets or any person yeah, at all? Okay. Anything in your pockets? No knives, no guns, nothing like that. All right, do me a favor. Put your legs right here. Anything in your pockets I need to know about? Yeah, just money. Just money? Just your keys? Yeah. All right, have a seat in here for right now. Watch your head. Sit mm -hmm. sideways so you can sit comfortably. Mm -hmm. Do you have my girlfriend come talk to me so I can... Uh, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. She's a victim in this also. Oh, what? What, is she pressing charges against me? Yes, she is. She's for pressing what? charges for battery domestic violence. She's alleging that you put your hands on her, choked her out, and threw her over the, over the side, and that's what she's alleging, and that's what you're going to jail for. Aggravated battery on the other victim, and... Uh, uh, domestic violence on your girlfriend. What was going on with this thing? Nothing, man. Just I woke up and you know, just too much friendliness, you know, for somebody I let in my house. I didn't do anything. So, how long have you known him? Him for probably 25, 30. 20... Tried to give the guy a chance. He's a low rent scumbag. 25, 30 years. Yep. How do you know him from? From Tampa. Oh, you guys were from Tampa. He worked. For... I've been living over here for last 25 some years. Did he work with you over there? No, nah, he never worked with me. We were just acquaintances. Did he ever live with you over there? No. No? This is the first time he lives with you over here? Mm -hmm. All right. And you've been with your girlfriend for how long? Over nine months. Nine months? 
Doesn't matter much now, does it? Well, I'm sure hopefully everything works out for you guys. Yeah. My free time I like on uh, different vehicles, try and work on my house, do some creative projects. I like to do a lot of metal working and woodworking, so just kind of whatever I can come up with and create. Right now we're going to a house. Neighbor called in, said that they heard two shots come from inside the house. And he went over and talked to the owner of the residence, and the resident told him that someone was trying to break into his house and he had shot and killed one of them. So we're going to go see what's going on, make sure nobody's injured at this house. 16223. What's going on, man? Two shots fired. There you go. 162, we've got shots fired. Where we at? He's shooting from right over here. It's this house right here on the corner. Watch out. We've got one subject inside the living room. I can see him moving around. One six two. Whenever I came around to the side of the house to talk to the caller, that's when I heard shot. He's out front. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Keep them up. Walk backwards. Come, come back. Uh, no, 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 no. Backwards. Hey, hey, there you go. Right to him. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Walk to me. Walk to me. Keep walking. Get in on your knees. Get on your knees. Door. 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 Who else is in there? Nobody, sir. There's nobody else in the house? No, sir. Well, they tried to break in for okay, several we'll hours. Out what's going on? I don't have a phone, and there was like four of them. I think three of them dressed in ginger noodles in black. Relax, man. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. I just defended myself. Okay, that's what we're trying to figure out, man. Mm. Okay, you want to get up? Oh. Mm. Spread your feet. You got your weapon on your pal? No, it's on the behind the door on the uh, TV. Uh, trophy cash. Tr tr trophy is a flashlight. Yeah, we got no knife back pocket. So you're saying guys tried to break into your house? Yes, sir. For several hours and I don't have any means of calling people okay. and I didn't want to leave the house because I did you hear the PA is that why you came out yes sir okay. my door was blocked okay. I put my TV in front of it and a chair so I had to okay <clears throat> I want to have you have a seat Pretty much got dispatched on a guy saying that someone was breaking into his house neighbor heard two gunshots fired as we come up around the front of the house trying to talk to our caller all of a sudden we hear another shot get fired off. Apparently that one went right through the front door. We found the gun laying right by the front door. And one spent shell casing right beside the front door. So I don't know if he's either saw my silhouette or something out front and decided that I was the bad guy trying to break into his house or what's going on. So we're going to talk to the guy and find out what his story is. What's your name? Hi, Dean. What's going on tonight, Dean? I don't know. I, I don't know them. Uh, they were trying to break in. Who was trying to break in? I don't know them. You don't know them? No. Where were they trying to break in at? Almost everywhere. I, I had uh, the took back doors blocked, uh, front door blocked, and even after that, they still sat there like patient as can be. And uh, he was... he. Probably broke in through my front door. So, okay, is uh, that why you, that that last shot you just shot? Where'd you shoot it off at? In that house. I mean, did you shoot through the front door? Or where'd you shoot it at? Like, where were you aiming for? Ah, uh, he was trying to hide behind the door, and I told him, I said, "This will go through that door." I said, "Don't be trying to break in." Okay, is that the reason why you shot the gun off? You just thought someone was trying to break in? Well, I know they were. You know, okay. I'm scared for my life. Did you see anybody? I mean, <sighs> yeah. I mean, describe them to me. Uh, it was all dark. It was all dark? Yeah. You couldn't get, 
Huh? Couldn't get a bit. You couldn't see him pretty well. I wanted the lights off. I figured it give me a little advantage. Okay. And uh, I waited for them to break in. Okay. And they were trying every window. Okay. And lucky, my neighbor woke up and heard the gunshots, and he thought I was. You acting crazy? And I said, no. I said, they're trying to break in. Call the police for me. Well, they, he called us, and I mean, we were standing out front when you fired that last shot. Oh, we were standing right out by your front yard. Oh, really? Well, I kept hearing the windows rattling, and they kept coming back to them. We figured I'd already had them half broke out, so it would be a lot easier. So I saw one of those ninja guys, and I fired away again. Okay. All right, Dean, we'll just hang tight for me for just a second, all right? Yeah, just I'm sit here. trouble. No, all right, now, we got, we got to get this thing figured out, man, all right? I never so. had that happen to me. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, just hang tight. Just sit here, just kind of relax, all right? All right, man, I'm going to shut this door. Watch your knee. Mm. Shot around right through the front door. Went through both front door and the screen door and landed out here in the front yard, probably about 15 feet away from about where we were standing. All right, so everybody's all right? Nobody's hurt. He got booked in the uh, detention center for deadly conduct, and we took the gun, so he's not going to be getting it back, but still just a hairy situation with guys shooting rounds off inside of his house and especially not knowing what he's shooting at. No kidding, man. I'm glad everybody's all right. The guys and girls I work with are all extremely supportive of each other, and Oftentimes we'll we'll get together off duty, and I can't think of anything that any other officer wouldn't do for me or I wouldn't do for them. It's just a very very supportive network, and that's one of my favorite parts about the job. 1956 is the Chevy Blazer. We're on the north side of the Safeway. Right now we had another officer get on the radio and say he's got a car trying to ditch him at the blocks. He said he's behind a green Blazer and it's driving recklessly over curbs and they're in the Safeway parking lot right now. Uh, 366, it's clear. Driver! Turn the car off and keep the keys in your hand. With your left hand, open the door slowly from the outside. 346, With the keys in your hands, slowly Take step out and keep your hands all the way up. Face away from me. Go down on your knees. Go down on your knees. Turn around and face towards me. Put your hands down on the ground and crawl towards me. Keep, crawl towards me, you're gonna get a bean bag. Stop, go all the way down, you put your arms straight out like an airplane, put your palms up. Don't move. All right, all right. Bring your knees up your chest. Is there anybody else in the car? Sit up. ran over the sidewalk right over here trying to get into this parking lot, took off and he realized he, he overshot that and was in a dead end. He started to, started to open the door to bail and I challenged him, so I guess we'll see what we have. It looks like the uh, ignition panel is totally removed, the top's removed. Um, if you look at the other side of the ignition, it's totally stripped out. You, you can't even see what vaguely resembles an ignition, um, so it's obviously a, when I was giving him commands to get out of the car with the keys in his hand, he shook his head like he didn't know what I was talking about or, or it wasn't an option for him. Obviously, this car is not being driven with keys because of the shape of the ignition. So, very likely a stolen car. Is there a key to the car? Look at the ignition. He's on paper for uh, Elude, so. How about UUV? Uh, well, we're figuring that out. They're running him and trying to confirm, confirm his ID, but uh, it looks like it's probably going to be a stolen. Yeah, go ahead and look at the ignition. It's, it's about as stripped as they get. Well then, and I see the screwdrivers in the center council. Those are yeah. probably what he was using for his key. All the tools you need Got right the there. pliers and everything. Hi, sir. What's your first name? Robert. Okay, I'm Officer Wilbon. Obviously, I was there. You were there, so we're not going to lie about what we both saw and what we were both involved in. So, okay. First off, uh, 
I saw you pull in the parking lot over there. Okay, walk me through what was going on. I'm pulling in to drop off my friend's car. Pulling in to drop off your friend's car? Yeah. And uh, what made you turn back around so quickly? Because I don't have a license. Because you don't have a license? Uh, I'm on probation. And then when you when you walked in, I'm, I'm sure you saw the officers there, right? No. We were all standing in the driveway in, oh, in yeah, front of you. You saw us? I, I didn't see it until I looked in the rearview mirror. I was like, what the? What are you on probation for? I'm on probation. I just got out of prison. What did you get out of prison for? For uh, witness tampering, felony elude, and like a rob too. Okay, you're flagged elude. You're on probation for felony elude. And that's exactly what uh, what it looked like you were doing to me, trying to get away from me. I wasn't trying to get away in that car. I was trying to get it safely parked so I, the dude's going to lose his car over me borrowing it to go drop somebody off the crib. Okay. I tell you what, where's the key at to the car so we can uh, try to get it back to me? There is, it's a, it's got a busted ignition. There's no key? No, it's got a, it's just a normal key. Like, what were you driving it with? What do you mean? If it doesn't have a key, what were you driving it with? A screwdriver. You're driving with a screwdriver? You want his number? His number's in my phone. Right okay, we'll, we'll get to that, but I, you see how it looks to me? Yeah, You're trying yeah, to get I away from me? You're that. driving a car with a screwdriver? Straight up, are we gonna find anything that you're not supposed to have? I drugs, guns, no, bombs. No, there ain't no drugs or bombs or nothing weird like that. Okay. Well, I'll go take a look and we'll talk here in a sec, all right? Yeah. Thank you. He pretty much admitted to you that he was trying to elude. Trying to get away from me. He just wants to sugarcoat it and say I was trying to avoid the traffic stop. Uh, he agrees with, uh, with us on how it looks. I mean, he's driving a car, he's trying to get away, no key. He's driving with a screwdriver. He said it's his buddy's car? He says it's his buddy's car. It's like a baggie with. of meth right here that he... Tossed out the window as you were trying to window, stop him? Yeah. You know there's always something. Don't look too far from, uh, from the yeah. car. Yeah. Looks like we got crystal meth. Um, there's baggies in there too. Okay. So, I imagine there's more. It all makes sense now. Oh, yeah. You mean to tell me you don't know what this is? I'll tell you two things, okay? There's no one in this parking lot. It's virtually closed off for construction, okay? Virtually the fact that it's off. still wet shows me that it was freshly dumped there, okay? So it didn't sit out, it didn't bake in the sun. It's a summer day. Look, there's the sun's out, there's no clouds. I ain't got nothing to do with that. This is a high, rough traffic area, man. I'll be down for getting me So you think this baggy meth was just laying there and we happened just to stumble across it? I don't know what the hell you think, yeah. I think. I'll just know yeah. I ain't. I ain't the one, man. This never came out of your vehicle? No, that never came out of my vehicle. So never. when I go back to my uh, to my dash cam, am I going to see you throwing it out the window? Oh, yeah, Let's just be fun. honest. Be honest with me. Have fun. Have fun? Yeah. All right. That ain't my... We'll figure it out. We'll let you know. Thanks. Uh, this guy's going to be taken to East Precinct by Officer Wilbon, who stopped him. Um, he was driving with a suspended license. He'll, he'll receive citations for that. Um, he'll probably be charged with attempting to elude police in a vehicle, and he'll be charged with possession of methamphetamine. Friday nights can be very quiet because football is such a big deal that parts of the town will shut down. Anybody who works on the side of town where the high school football game is being played is going to be really busy because of all the stuff going on in the parking lot. We're on our way to meet another officer. He's out on a family fight, from what it sounds like, and he's saying that there's a barricaded gunman inside the house. Suspect residence can be a brown painted house, with a brown roof. It's going to be in between a white house with a gray roof and a gray house with a gray roof. Call your dog to you! 
Call your dog to you. Hold him. All right, I'm going to go around to the front and come in the front door. Keep him occupied. Hold your dog. Hold your dog. Do you have any weapons on you? Are you positive? I'm positive. Calm down, mister. Calm down, mister. Calm down. Calm down, mister. Anyone else inside this house? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Are you a resident of this house? Yes, sir. I live here. Okay. You're barricaded in a room with a gun? No. I don't have a gun. Got a 911 call from here. I don't have with a gun. You being, with you having a gun. Stick, come to me. Come knees. On your knees. Go to the ground. Arms out. Palms in the air. Palms in the air. Is this suspect? Jump. Yeah, suspect. We got it. Where's your gun? I don't have a gun, sir. Why'd she say you had a gun threatening to kill her? I, ain't, I wouldn't threaten to kill nobody. She said you had a gun. You're I don't to have kill a her gun. Else. I'm not trying to kill nobody. Why would she say that? I don't know why she would say it. We were arguing, but I'm not trying to kill no damn body. This is him. This is him. Get him up. All right, we're going to get him up front. Take him back to my car and I'll right. interview him there. Roll over on your left side. All right, we're going to stand up. You want to count three? Pull one leg in. Put this on. Ready? Thank you. Just one leg. Okay. One, two, three, go. Right, I'm going to interview in my out. car, OK? I'll right. find out what's going on in there. All right. Get my leg. Just to let you know why we're like this. Yeah, yeah I understand. I'm going to put this out. Oh, I don't. Interview. Yeah, I'm going to be right back, okay? And then we can talk to you, okay? All right. Hello. What all happened? Um, I, he doesn't agree with how I raise my kids, and, and I don't talk to nobody. I go to work every day, and I'm always doing something with somebody else, and I'm not. Okay. And who's he to you? He is my daughter's son. I'm your daughter's father. Your daughter's father? Yes. Okay. And what are all these from right here? Uh, him hitting me. Him hitting you? Yes. Like with fist yes. or yes. like slapping him? Yeah, he hit me and it busted all my blood veins here. And, and is my, that uh, is that recent? Last this is night. what happened? Last night. Okay, what happened today, today as far as the argument? He still hit me. He was still hitting you? I, I Where at? That. In my face. In your face? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then what happened? Um, I told him that he had to go. I didn't tell him I was calling the cops because he'll kill me. I told him to call the cops. I called my dad and and 911, and they came in and got him. And that was it. Okay. But, uh, what was up with the gun? He's always had a gun in the house. Uh, did he have it out or anything today? Uh, not today, but he told me he'll get bullets for it. He doesn't even have bullets for it right now. Uh, he's got one in the chamber. One in the chamber. Okay. Uh, but he never pulled it out, never pointed it at you or anything like that? He did not point it at me today, but threatened me with it. Threatened you with it? Yes, I know there's one chamber and, I, chamber and I know that he will. Now, what was the threat? Um, what did he say? Because I called the cops. He would kill me. Like and exact I, words? Yes. You call the law on me, I will kill you, bitch. Okay. I will kill you. We got him in custody Thank and you. there is no shots were fired. So he's fine and we're okay. fine. Okay. Nobody was hurt can, on that aspect. Okay. I can take you to the weapon. Okay. Uh, I am going to need you to fill out a sworn affidavit. Yes. Do you have a problem with that? No. Okay. No. Thank you. Hey, man, what's going on tonight? We was arguing. What was y'all arguing about? I don't even remember. We, I had a couple of drinks. She had a couple of drinks. You don't remember what she was arguing about, though? It was, it was basically. Like what? Um... I don't know. I got I got mad and she got mad. She said something smart and I said something smart. Okay. Was it escalated. physical at any time? You said it escalated, but no, it wasn't really physical. Nobody. What do you mean by not really physical? No, it wasn't physical. It wasn't physical at all. No. Okay. And so, you never said anything about a gun or anything like that. No, I never no. said anything about. Never that. hit her or anything. I slapped her. But I never you slapped her today. Yeah, I slapped okay. her. Okay. Uh, just like open and slap or? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you didn't push her or anything like that, right? Okay. All right. Sit tight for me, okay? 
the subject's going to be going to Potter County Detention Center for assault, domestic violence, causing bodily injury. Uh, that's a Class A misdemeanor. He'll be out there for quite a while. Luckily, nobody was hurt. And he With the United States Marshal Service signed to the Southeast Regional Fugitive Task Force down in Atlanta, Georgia, the task force is comprised of federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies all working together. Right now, we're actually heading to Gwinnett County, reference an alleged kidnapping. Um, the kidnapping occurred in Cobb County. Two unknown Hispanics had kidnapped a four-year-old child from his mother inside their residence. And based on some information that we have from some CIs and uh, other sources uh, that believe that four-year-old might be up in a location in the Gwinnett County area. So that's where we're heading to now. All right. Uh, this is the uh, victim's child. He's four years old, as I was saying earlier, and uh, he's the uh, abductee. As you guys know, there was the kidnapping supposedly that happened earlier in Cobb County. A Hispanic female was accosted by two unknown Hispanic males wearing masks. Um, they used some sort of taser device. They hit her in the neck with it. She fell out. They abducted her four-year-old son, and they cut off a lock of her hair and left it there. Guess it's somewhat sort of uh, proof that they took the kid. Um, Cobb responded, started talking to her. They contacted the marshal service because a phone call was placed back to the uh, victim, the female, and the males had uh, demanded a $100,000 ransom for the return of the child. Since we were here on scene, we had our people all ready to go. If that vehicle, suspect vehicle, which is the white suburban, was there, we would follow. If they would stop someplace to get out on foot and they were not on the phone, our people were going to take them off and bring them back so Cobb could start debriefing for intel reference to the apartment they were in or the house. For all you that's here, come on in real quick. And I give you as best as I can. All I know is suppose these two Hispanic males, I don't have anything further, and it's an old white suburban. And as soon as Tex gets up here and gives us a better thing, then we'll more or less get a couple cars in the area, and we'll keep eyes on until we find out what's happening from here. Before we take them down, I don't want them to have the opportunity to make a call back into the house right. if the child's not with them. But yeah. if we watch him get out of the car and he's walking, a couple of us on foot with regular clothes, Shot snatch and grab. Them. We're jumping them, and we're taking them out ASAP, all right? Hey, Danny, what's up? Hey, we just stopped the white suburban and the driver is the mom's new boyfriend. It's... Yeah, that's him. He gave up the address of the apartment where the boy's being kept right now. All right, so we've got the location of where the boy's being held. Yeah, we just got it. All right, why don't you guys go ahead and uh, bring him back to the command post? All right, man, see you in a bit. All right, thanks. Fantastic. That's the guy that she met recently uh, on the internet that's her boyfriend, which means that the boyfriend's more likely involved with this. Hey, uh, they got the car stopped. It's the victim's boyfriend. Let's suit up. We've got the location of where the boy's being held. Looks like apartment nine. We're trying to verify that. Everybody rally up here real fast. All right, we're moving through the house and we're moving fast. You get in these rooms, you're clearing them quick and you're getting, if we hear the child screaming in the back room, that's where we're heading, right child is. If we do have to make entry, we've got to flood the house. If the child is located in the front room or whatever, then we can tone it down. As long as the child's secure, we can slow it down and shield everything like we normally do. All right, just be on standby. We'll give you more information as soon as we got it. Where you guys are sitting, which one is it? Heading over here to the uh, suspect location where they got that child held. Gwinnett County uh, Sheriff's Department SWAT team is going to make the entry for us. Their Marshal Service Task Force is going to set up the outside perimeter. All right, guys, be advised, we're coming in the complex. They're operating two blacked out uh, vans. They're coming out of the target apartment or they're just in bystanders, correct? Trey, unless it's an emergency, hold your traffic. Guys, be advised, we're in the complex. We've got two blacked out vans. Those are their attack uh, team. Tony, it's going to be this one immediately to my left, correct? And four, All right, guys, we're getting ready to see the SWAT team to deploy. And we're going to cover the outside perimeter coming up on the apartment here. We're in around the back. Watch the windows, Walt. Watch the windows. Just be advised, watch the windows. Oh, this end, other side. Watch out for the bang. Watch the doors, just watch. Watch the doors. Back them. You got 
We're good on the doors if you watch the windows. Watch that window. They got him. They get kid. We got him. Got him. Got him. Good job, fellas. Good job. Good job, man. Good job, Got the kids. Good job, man. Good job. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Hola, mi amigo. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Tú hablo inglés? ¿Do you speak English? What is your name? Christian. Okay, Christian, we're going to take you home to mommy, okay? You want to see mommy? All right, pal, she's waiting to see you. We're going to bring you home to her, okay? We're going to take you to your mom. I'm not sure, pal, but right now your mom's looking for you, so we're going to take you home to your mom, all right? Are you Christian? Okay, you want a hamburger? Okay, let me shake your hand, man. You did a good job, little man. You are strong. Give me, give me. You did a good job, man. We're bringing the suspects out now, the male and the female that were inside the apartment. Turn them around, and spin them. Okay. That's fine. Is there anybody still inside the house other than, was there two people in there? Hey, can you go grab your car? We'll put them in real quick. Good job, guys. Good job, man. This ended on a good note. Siente se por favor. Watch your head. Okay. So we're good to go. We'll go back to uh, to the trade center and we'll debrief. All right. Great job, fellas. Great job. If you did not know, the child was actually inside a separate bedroom inside the apartment that was empty, and they had it in a closet wrapped up in a blanket. The woman whose child was kidnapped just came into a large sum of money. And the, she met someone on the internet who they believe is a suspect that we recovered today. So it appears to be a completely legitimate for ransom kidnapping. In the beginning, we weren't sure what was going to happen, but obviously it appears that it, it was legit. So again, I can't tell you enough. Great job. Great job. I'm a detective with the DuPage County Sheriff's Office, about 19 years. I've been task force out to the Great Lakes Regional Task Force with the U.S. Marshal Service for about the last eight years or so. If we come up shorthanded, there, you know, one phone call you can get, you know, 15 guys can come out, they give you whatever you need, so you have, you know, have a, a really wide variety of expertise that can, you know, help you on your cases. <laughs> All right, guys. What happened? Uh, this is Thomas uh, W in the middle, male white, 10 of 90, so that should make everybody feel old. Uh, 57135, brown and brown. Uh, he's wanted on an unlawful delivery charge, so it was for dealing. Um, background this is distributing look alike substance. So he was dealing something that was a, right, so it could have been, you know, said it was ecstasy and really it was vitamins or something, you know, something like that. All right, guys, let's go. Yeah, what about in the back? Looks like a 40 cows. Yeah, yeah. Police! Hey, how are you doing? Police. When was the last time you saw um, Thomas? Is where? In New Lenox. In New Lenox? Who lives in New Lenox? You could show us where it's at? Yeah. Is that? Okay. What's your name? Andrea. <laughs> All right. We'll take a couple guys. We're going to roll with Andrea here over to this uh, this New Lenox address. We're not sure where we're going. All right. Just follow. Uh, All right. Why don't you come with us, Andrea? Schulte. All right. So who, who's she going who's she gonna ride with, Schulte? Or is Levis? Okay, Levis, you're leading the way then, bro. You are, because she's going to show you where we're going. Uh, the woman downstairs, her daughter, who used to let this kid stay there, uh, she says that she believes that he hangs out at an ex-girlfriend's place. She says that he likes to carry a knife on him, so he might be armed. We'll see what we end up with. All right, let's go. Can I get a, maybe one more guy or two more guys up on this side?
Hi, how you doing? Police, can I talk to you for a minute? How are you? Hi. Okay. Are you? Uh, can we step in for a second? Sure. Thank you very much. Here, here, here's our problem. Is your daughter Barb? My daughter? Yeah. Or are no. you Barb? No, I'm not Barb. No. no, my daughter's not Barb. Okay. Does Barb live here? Yeah, she stays here from time to time. Okay. Is she here right now? I have no idea. Okay. We're looking for him. His name's Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, he's here. He's here. Where at? He's staying with us too. Okay. Where's he at? We have a, we have a warrant for his arrest. Where's he at? His arrest. Yeah. yeah, where's where's he at? Upstairs, I think. Okay. Right. Hey, Phil, stand by. He's here. All right, why don't you have a seat for me? Thomas! Thomas is the police. Come out. Hey, guys, there's going to be another guy named Matt up there also. Thomas, come out. Do you understand me? Thomas, get out here! Uh, are you Thomas? Thomas? Where's Thomas? Right here. Where's Thomas? Don't look away. Answer me. Hello. Step on out here. Come here. Where is he? Hello. That's him right there, isn't it? Uh -huh. That's him right there. Just cuff him up and bring him out of here. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you're holding the rear. Turn around. Why? Huh? Come here. So we figure out who the hell you are. That's why. I just need you my ID. All right. Come on here. What? You're being evasive. I think you're lying. Get my mom, she knows who I am. Okay. Mom! Calm down, it's okay. Just, just, she just knows it's it. you. No, he doesn't, they just put me in cuffs. Hey guys, he is up there somewhere. So everybody just hold on. There he is, he's under there. He's under there. Pull it out, pull it out. See your hands. See your hands! Stand up, stand up. Turn around and face the wall. Turn around and face the wall. Put your hands on the wall. Do not move. What did I do, sir? First of all, what did you do? Why are you hiding? Most of the time, people don't hide what they didn't do anything. He's in custody. Who told you to walk away from We're me? Coming down. You know what you were wanted for, right? Okay. Um, you got a warrant out of DuPage County for dealing dope. Why'd you hide, man? I don't know. I didn't want to get in trouble like this, man. You I mean, think it was going to be worse hiding? Okay. Because we don't, you know, we don't just go away, right? You know, so, but, it's, uh, hey, Tom, it's Thomas, right? Okay. Thomas, it's okay, man. You don't. I'm going to be in jail for the rest of my life. Dude, dude. relax. You're not going to be in jail for the rest of your life. How old are you? 19? 18? 18 right? Okay. You ain't going to be in jail for the rest of your life, all right? No. Maybe you should think about not breaking the law in the first place. All right. So you just, you just got to relax, Thomas, all right? And you know, when the police come to your house and they're looking for somebody, you can't, you can't lie to them because it just gets you into a, gets you into trouble in the long run, you know? You seem like a good kid, just don't do that stuff, okay? I mean, why, I mean, was there, were you just scared? Okay. Well, in the future, don't lie to the police, okay? All right. It's only going to jam you up, bro, all right? All right, come on inside with your mom here. Bye, Matt. All right, let's walk over here to the car. You know, you're, you're the one who got yourself in this situation, so. Yeah, I know. All right, man. Take care. Okay, this is who we're going to go after today. His name is Jermaine. Jermaine's wanted for a bench warrant out of DeKalb County for possession of a firearm, carrying a concealed weapon, and obstruction of officers. Also, he's on felony probation. He has a probation violation for a bunch of traffic charges. Plus, he has a uh, misdemeanor bench warrant for, once again, driving and obstruction of officers. As soon as we know he's there at the house, we're going to go ahead and pull up and hit the house. Okay. Just so you guys know, if something happens in the house, we're not coming out. So if he tries to run, he's y'all's. We're not coming out of the house. Okay. All right, unless you hear us yell, we need help. Stay outside and just Where cover was, the perimeter. Got his county okay. He'll let him know. All right. Okay.
All right, so apparently uh, we're pretty confident the guys in there. We've watched a couple of drug transactions taking place at the house. Um, and uh, so based on that, we're believing that he's up inside the residence. There's a male that's coming to the door, but we can't ID him 100%, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, hit this place. So window to the right. I got the window to the right. I got the window to the right. Ready? Go. Move. Police, come to the door! Watch the steps. Got the right. Burglar bars. Kyle again. Open bar. Up. Bar. Need the bar. Tony, get the ram. Open your door. I got the door. Police! Go, Tim. Watch your right. Get his left. Get him down. Get down. Get him down. I'm with your right. Cover me. Stay right there. Watch the door to the left, okay? Move forward. Watch the door to the right. Watch the door to the right. Door to the right. Get a light switch on the wall so you can hit it. Who else is in the house? Who else in the house? Get down! Put your face down on the ground in your hand. Get flat! Look at all the pot. We got a bunch of dope here, too. Get your hands behind your back. I need another set. Here you go. You got any weapons on you we need to know about? Here, here. What's your name? Craig, sir. Craig, put your hands behind your back. Now. Go straight ahead. Who else in the house? Nobody, sir. Don't start lying. Oh, the seat's broken. Somebody was getting up in there. This is a police U.S. Marshals. We are not going anywhere. Come down now. Don't take a chance of getting shot. Come up to the side of now and give it up. We got a dog coming in. We're going to send a dog in the attic after you. Jermaine, we know you're up, man. Your brother's already getting you up. Can you see him? I got him. I got him. Hands! Show me your hands! Hands! Well, no way! No I way! You. I got you. I got you. I got you. Come to me! Crawl! Crawl! You better keep your hand up! Crawl! Head first! Head first! All right. Sir. Hands first! Don't move. Got him. Crawl! Yep. I got it. I got it. Get him. Pull him. Drag him out. Watch his head. Get your hands behind your back. Watch, there's a mag on the ground. It'll fit to mine or his. Got a set of cuffs? Yeah. Anybody else up there? Anybody else up there? No, sir. We're going, We're going up. Did you leave anything up there? No, sir. Anybody else up there? Come out now! Everybody be quiet. Shh, everybody keep quiet. I heard movement again. Come on, Jermaine, come on! You're helping yourself a lot. I need to know. Shh. I need to know how many guys you saw go in the attic. Two. You saw. Yeah. And then the other, you got, you and the other what guy were the only ones. Okay. Is that the guy that went in the attic? Yeah. Thank man. you. All right. Come on, come on, man. Ain't nobody going nowhere. It was cracking right there. And over there, so. You go. I'm going to talk. Just guys, keep it down. Jermaine, listen to me. My name is Wayne, and I'm with the U.S. Marshals. Listen to me. We are not going anywhere, son. I got voice. Shut up. Shut up. Crawl. Because the SWAT team's coming, son. I want hands first. I'm pass you. All right. Sir, hands first. Sir, I don't have nothing in my hands. Hands first. Don't say anything else but your hands. I can't move, got sir. Hands. I'm coming. Got, got hands. Everybody stop. Hands first. Hands. Come on, sir. I'm coming. Grab him. Grab him. I'm coming, sir. Grab him. Come on. Bring me a hand. hand up. I can't move, got sir. Hands. I'm walking. Give me Watch his head. Watch his head. Watch his head. Look at you. Look at you. Get him out of here. Watch the rip. Watch the attic. We still need to clear it. We've already gotten two out. We don't know if there's more. Hey, if there's anybody else upstairs, you need to come out now. We're coming up. Come towards me. Uh, door. door. It's empty. Okay, can you get up? Uh, roll over. Roll over. Down. Okay. Cross your feet. Anybody else up there? No. Good job. We hadn't done it yet, and he was—he kept playing when the guy ran out the back. All right, here's your radio. Thanks. Good job. Good? Good job, man. Good job, brother. Thanks, sir. Sir, thank you for your help. Yeah. I'll be Dollar short again. <laughs> Fortunate for us, they didn't decide to engage us. When we came in, this weapon was actually laying right on the floor, locked and loaded inside. They probably more than likely saw us coming up and decided not to use it. Based on our past experience, we thought maybe somebody was selling narcotics. Sure enough, we get inside and this is what we find. So our uh, suspicion turned out to be great thoughts. Now try and stand up. Uh, 
Good job, man. Good job, fellas. Good job. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. 